Hey everyone, welcome back to Kendra's Makeup Academy. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about getting the right foundation match. The color of your foundation actually, in my humble opinion, has very little to do with the lightness or the darkness of your skin. What are you talking about? I can't just put any color or foundation on my skin. It's gotta be the right color or the right lightness or darkness or it's not gonna match. And you're right, but that's such a small part of the equation. The undertones is the biggest thing that you need to understand. Everyone has an undertone to their skin color and to be honest with you, those undertone colors could range all over the place from um, pale pinks and yellows to deep reds. In general, you can expect that your skin will have a pink, yellow, neutral, or a red undertone. When you look at your skin, you're going to see kind of the inkling of one of those colors. Now, the other part of foundation matching that is, it really has nothing to do with the color of the skin on your face. Yeah, really. The color of the skin on your face can be disrupted by all kinds of things. It can be red, how dry or moisturized your face is, can have everything to do with the, the tone of your, of your face. My face happens to be a shade or two darker than my neck and chest, so if I match my foundation to my face, it's going to give you that floating head look. Where the color of their face is completely different from their neck and chest, and it almost looks like their head is floating separate. <laughs> When I was first wearing foundation in my teens, I would go to the store and I would match the color to my wrists, which is pretty close. Oh. What I recommend is looking at your neck and your chest to see what your undertones are. Careful of looking too deep on our chest and get redness and irritation. So you may think that you have a pink or a red undertone when really you don't. One way to know if you have no idea if your pink or yellow undertone is if you tend to buy foundation and it looks too pink on your skin, you're probably more yellow. If you tend to buy foundation and it looks more yellow on your skin, you're probably more pink or red. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the foundation that I use. It's kind of the answer to all of the problems that foundation has. Lime Life's foundation is highly, highly pigmented. There's 50% pigment in this product. Most of your commercial foundations are going to have like 18 to 25% pigment. Product is going to go a lot further. You're going to need a lot less product. You can vary the coverage by using less or more. It's a wax-based foundation. This might scare the crap out of you. You might be like, why would I use a wax-based foundation? Wax has a large molecule. So it sits on top of the skin instead of settling into fine lines, pores, and wrinkles. Game changer when it comes to foundation, especially as we're starting to age. So because it sits on top of the skin, doesn't get into your pores and wrinkles, it's not gonna make you look older, it's not gonna make you break out. As a professional makeup artist, I can have my foundations really neatly packaged in these palettes. In these two little palettes, I have 20 foundation colors. That has reduced the size of my kit tremendously. If you buy a foundation for your personal use, they look like this and they come in a little uh, recycled paper palette uh, and you can buy them in singles or doubles. Some people buy two colors because they need a blend of the two colors. Other people buy like their summer and winter color. Number one thing that I love about Lime Life Foundation is it doesn't oxidize. Have you ever put a foundation on and it looked great and then a few hours later it's kind of gone yellowy or orange on you? A lot of foundations oxidize. They will change color after they have been exposed to oxygen. <laughs> that sucks. That after you put them on and set them with our setting powder, our translucent setting powder looks like this. It's white. We also have colored setting powders. You don't have to worry about the color changing. It's going to look the same throughout the entire day. Use a little setting spray and you can guarantee 12 plus hours of wear. It's important to me because as a professional makeup artist, I need foundation that I put on my clients to last all day and all night long without any problems. But it's also important to me as a woman, I don't wanna redo my makeup halfway through the day, do you? And if you're still not sure what your undertone is, ask your beauty guide. She has lots of tools to help you figure that out. Thank you for attending this episode of Kendra's Makeup Academy and I will talk to you soon.